when we first joined Biodynamic, it was out of out of desperation because we'd been we were been working and we we had not long retired and we decided, oh yeah, well now we'll grow our own food. Mm-hmm. And we used to watch um, a certain program on on television that was a very commercial program, and it had a lot of ads for use this this product and that product and and the presenter would say you know put if you really want to do well you put this this and this on your garden so we wrote it all down as they said it we went out and bought it we spent about two hundred dollars we came up with a list of about ten ten yeah different things so we came home with all this stuff from bunnings and and the local nursery put it on the garden and yeah we did we had the most amazing garden and then the next load of season that we were trying to deal with it wasn't quite so good um, mm. And things started to get a bit eaten, so we bought more stuff to kill the things that were eating. And then we, and then when the next season came round, and we and the garden, it just totally collapsed on us. We could grow wow. nothing. We had all this miserable looking things. So we said, "Oh heck, out of here! To hell with this! So. This is what happens when you retire." <laughs> so we joined the can, <laughs> we joined the Cans Four Wheel Drive Club, and off we went four wheel driving for a year and a half. And wow. um, so we just decided that. No, we really need to do this garden thing. And a friend said, look, I've got this email. There's a biodynamics meeting this weekend. If you want to go down, to, it was at Barefoot Farming, who are a, oh, yeah. um, a, the most magnificent um, garden here that grows vegetables. They're a vegetable garden, a market garden. And they do boxes. So you order online. She puts online every Wednesday what's available and you order it and they deliver it the next Wednesday. Okay. To your door. pick up. Oh, yeah, okay, no, cool. yeah, because because we're all scattered, but they do mm. this massive delivery run and, and, and your things all in polystyrene boxes. Okay. So we, we went along and we enjoyed that meeting. We liked the people who were there. We felt like-minded people. And then the next meeting we went to was um, a horn raising where the horns had been buried with the cow manure in them over the winter mm-hmm. and the, the spring had come, so it's time to raise the horns. They're in the ground to uh, receive all the cosmic rays that, that come through. So we went to that. And as a thank you, it was a, a big group goes to that, usually 30 or 40 people, and we dig up all these horns and we take the manure out of them and it's all stored and then continues on its way to be prepared um, to become 500 at the yep. number of it. So as a thank you, we're all given a little tennis um, golf ball size piece of this 500 and Adam, the guy who was uh, running it, who's a real guru, he said to us, look, guys, he showed us how to stir, you know, because there is an art in stirring. The he vortex, yeah. Stir, yeah, yeah. Is, and reverse, yeah. you know, to get it right. Yeah. Anyway, so he said, take this home, divide it into four and spray it over your property once a week for four weeks and then I want you to tell me what you see. And we had a bit of a giggle on the way home thinking, oh, this is what are we, getting what are we doing here, you know? <laughs> what are witches so, and warlocks? <laughs> we really, you know, we, we're really good. Yeah, we have. Because they are quite, um, they, when I say they're spiritual, I don't mean you'd notice. Religious. Them, but, they, but they have this connection with the world. And, yeah, um, 100%. and we, yeah. we felt that. But anyway, yeah. we, we did. So we did as we were told. And we kept saying, oh, you know, how could this possibly work? You know, this, but anyway, first week, second week, third week, we said, you imagine things. Here. Can you notice the place looking a bit different? <laughs> and so yeah. it went, we got through the fourth one and we said, wow, this works. We, we had a, we still have a bottle brush tree that uh, it came from a local, well, well organized, uh, respected nursery. Yeah. A native nursery. Native, native nursery. Yeah. And when our climate's wet, right, and we live sort of on the side of a, a sloping hill, there's water passes through um, from the top of the hill right down to the creek at the, uh, the bottom right there, and it passes through our property. So it's always, wouldn't say always, but uh, dampness is a, is a problem. Right? Yeah. Uh, but this bottle brush tree, was not looking good. Right? We'd, we'd taken several looks at it with that. Oh, okay, this isn't working. Well, it's time to cut this out and get rid of it. But uh, after going to down to Adam's place and we, we do this, so I got 500 and I drilled about 30 uh, holes in the ground underneath the drip line of the tree right there, mm-hmm. in two rows right there. 
and I poured 500 into all of those 30-odd holes, and that bottle brush tree is the most magnificent thing on the table. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Everybody yeah. comes to look at our bottle I, brush I, tree. I, I, could send, I could send you a couple of photographs. Of yeah, that'd be awesome. It is amazing. So what, what did you start noticing? Like you said, week three, week four, it was different. You said, are we imagining? It what was, was like different? The light. The, the, okay. the, the, um, the trees were, because 500, is, it's, it's, a, it's a soil spray, um, yeah. but you do spray it out and it does go that because the trees um, take in nutrients through the leaves. They don't just take them in through the roots. So when you, you spray it, and it just, uh, and then we, we always follow 500 with 508 the next, 501, 501 I'm sorry, the next morning early at, at sunlight. And 501 is um, a silica spray. Silicon spray. And yeah. it and what yeah. that, that does is um, brings in some, brings, brings in the some, light, brings, brings in the light in, in, which is a great right. help for us with all of our funguses and things that we get here. Right. So we would do that religiously each each early on the morning after we sprayed the other. But the trees took on um, a shine, a lightness. Like when we drive down the street, and I'm sure we're not imagining it because our friends all tell us the same. Our place looks different. Wow. Our trees look different. They've got life there. The leaves um, shine. They've got this this light about it's them. A, yeah. A, okay. It's almost like a bit of an aura, maybe like a yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's yeah, a okay. color, yeah. whatever. And the the bees have added to that as well. Mm. Really, really. Yeah. But we we couldn't work out. And this is the thing about biodynamics. And um, I really, <coughs> I'm hope I'm really pleased I can say this to you because. Because we, we are retired now and we have the time to think about things. And I was listening one morning, and we love classical music, so I was listening to this music and I, it makes me feel good. And I thought to myself, that makes me feel good, but I can't see it. it once mm. it's played, it's gone. And so I related that to our spraying out of these um, biodynamic preparations. preparations. Um, and I thought, well, because I could, ne could never understand how we could add a quarter of the size of a golf ball and it work. And it, and it costs practically nothing when we'd spend hundreds of dollars buying bags of stuff and putting it on the plants. And we didn't get this result. And I just couldn't take that in. So I thought, yeah. oh, it's, it's imagination. You know, we're, we're, we're imagining this. But I relate it to, to all of the things like our mobile phones. You know, what a miracle they are. Mm. You know, that, that all that transfers through the, the the waves, the sound waves in the air. That us talking like this, mm. and we we accept that. But when you say to somebody, mm. Mm. when you say to somebody, take this and spray it on your property, and it'll work. But that's what's the that's conversation with the plant. That's what we're doing. Yeah. We're conversing with the plant. Yeah, it's very interesting that you say that because I, I often say that to a lot of people as well, where they go. Well, let's keep on the biodynamic pathway, but they say, well, how does that work? It's like, but you don't know how mobile phones transmit. You don't know how your car works, but you still get in it and drive it every day yeah. and know it's going to get you from place A to place B. Yes. And that's exactly what you're saying as well is with the whole mu classical yeah. music is we don't know how that works and the vibrations and our ears pick it up and hear it. And we don't stop and say, how does that sound get from the other side of the planet <laughs> to here and into my yeah. ear? Yep. But yet we want to know how this spray works, that we can't just accept that it works, you know. Right. And so, That's yeah, right. it's very interesting that you make it, that same distinction. Right. And I think it is definitely that experiential learning that you mentioned before, that you kind of need to experience it and see it um, to increase that kind of, um, yeah. Yeah. you know, seeing is believing type of thing. But, right. you know, I, I saw a quote the other day, and I'm not probably, I'm going to probably butcher it up, but it was something like, um, um Oh gosh, it's something uh, you you see. You believe what you see, but you also see what you believe. Something like that. Yes, you know? yes, very you know, much so, that way. Right? Very, yeah. very, and, and biodynamics. That's the yeah. spiritual side of biodynamics. Yeah. There's, there's two aspects to biodynamics. Right there, um, there's a spiritual aspect, and there's the actual physical aspect. Yeah, and yeah, sometimes people are looking for something that they can't grasp right there. And 
they, they don't understand that the cosmic rays come in, that, you know, that what the hell, you know, that's all crap, you know, um, but it's just part of what's happened. We are all it is, right? You, me, Kay, right? We, we're, we're it, right? We are the universe, right? Yeah. It's a, the universe is energy. That's what the whole universe is. I've been searching for answers for a long time. What, why this all works? Just, <laughs> right? but that's that's what we are, and we're we're an energy receiver and transmitter. Well, that's yeah. what we are. We're picking up vibrations, and and sending the vibrations out, right? And that's yeah. what we're doing with the plants, with the soil, with with everything, yeah. and everything that lives around us. The, all the microbes, the fungi. And the birds, the in, you know, the insects, they're all doing the same thing. It's just they're, they're just in different forms, different levels yep. of, of evolvement or ne necessitation of evolvement, whatever, right? They're, I haven't got that figured out why that works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, and sometimes that's part of the fun is never getting to the destination. You know, that journey and that seeking is that's motivating. Fun. You know, yeah. and so you know, there's a lot of people who like climb the highest mountain they've spent all their life training and then they climb it and then it's like now what their whole life meaning has yeah that's yeah, yeah. we've, we've yeah. spent a lifetime building businesses up and selling them and managing them and doing all sorts of things and we've climbed climbed up to the tops of the mountains the business mountains in various aspects several times and looked over the hill it doesn't look any better over there than what it looks on this side you know? yeah <laughs> Yeah, and I've heard it's also lonelier too because there's less people there. <laughs> yeah, well, this is right. This is yeah, true. But it's, it's yeah. about it's about energy and people that want to teach this sort of stuff. There, I, I could run off a few names there, but they, they want to teach this sort of stuff. But they they develop they don't understand what the people are looking for. Right, they're yeah. looking for results. They're trying to sort out a problem, right? Or I've got yeah. a problem. How do I fix this? Then they're not interested in going up to some religious or quasi-religious thing. Right? So you've got to get down to, to yeah. the nitty-gritty first, yeah. understand Absolutely. it, and then yeah. when you can you see some results and understand it, then you can move on to the, mm. the, uh, the spiritual side. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The, um, yeah, <laughs> the other thing, too, that, that went on from um, biodynamics letters, because, because well, we can't see what we're spraying out, but we can see the results, was the, um, the microbial, the soil, the improvement of our soil, which yeah. we, we, we knew it was improving and we could feel it and we can see it and we can smell it, um, but you, we couldn't actually see who was in there doing it. And I'm... And, um, and uh, the lady who uh, has the uh, veggie garden, she's right into it with Elaine Ingham, and she is um, she's now authorised to do uh, soil testing and all that kind of thing and tell you what you do and don't need. But she was yep. a great a great help to us. So we bought a microscope. We thought oh, we've got to see, we've got to see who's there. You know what's, what's <laughs> happening there. So we did that, and we could see them. And then we said. Well, who are they? Who are they? You know, <laughs> who's <laughs> that? Oh, this guy, you know, oh, you know. So we thought, well, we better do, hence uh, signing up for the course and, yeah. uh, and, and getting into that and, and learning what, you know, what, what's there and, and if it's not there, why is it not there? Or if it's there in um, abundance and it shouldn't be, why? And, you, yeah. you know, I guess a lot by it, default it, we've um, managed to increase our um, mycelium on our property to an unbelievable level, the bloke next door to us, um, he he sells um, firewood, and okay. so he goes out and and gets the trees directly from um, wherever. A lot of it comes off properties where they've over the years, you know, trees have come down in storms and that, and he goes in and cleans them up and sells it for firewood. But we get all these scraps, all the. Um, pieces of bark, bark and, and little chips chunk, and yeah little chips of it or big pieces of bark and and I sort of thought after I said yeah yeah I'll take it and then they came in by the wheelbarrow load and we had all <laughs> the wheelbarrows lined up because we've got five here and they're all full so the people, wow. what are we going to do with all this stuff but anyway I've put it around and the bigger pieces I put on the edge of the garden 
I'm um, in the hope that Keith might whip a snip uh, around. He doesn't have to cut off my plants as he goes past them anymore. He just into the. But yep. what it's done is it's brought in all this um, mycelium. mycelium area. You know, um, all the spores have come in on this timber, and the mycelium is the garden, the yard's gone berserk. You know, it's yeah. Just, it doesn't matter where we dig now. We have, and I found some the other day. I was planting a avocado tree, and it must have been 300 mil below the top of the surface, and there was mycelium down there. Wow! I know. Wow. I was. Wow! Pretty- imagine, uh, imagine the amount of activity that's happening underneath that. Well, I, I wonder know. why your parcel is glowing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, we we've been running interesting. We've had an interesting life, running, doing interesting things all our lives. And this is the most interesting thing in all our lives that we've come up with is in the last couple of years. Wow. Wow. You know, this is this is unreal. What's happening? Do you mean to say that this little thing is affecting me? And if yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's crazy. I know that's that's what's happened to me too. The more I keep digging deeper <laughs> into the soil and this world of underneath our feet, the more excited and interested I get. It's I agree. It's so fascinating. And the more we discover and the more research that's getting put to it, it's, it's very fascinating. And, and it's been here all the time. It's just a little bit of, you know, out of sight, out of mind, oh, walk right. over it every day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so. We, um, oh, biblical thing, search and you shall find. Yeah. Well, we're talking yeah, yeah. about. 